Hello, everyone, and welcome to another commentary podcast. I am Captain Logan. And I am Eric. Otherwise known as Captain Logan and Eric. And today, we're going to be uh, talking about Bible Man. And by talking about, I mean watching a thing I've never seen before and saying whatever comes to mind. We did one of these a few months ago now, and I can't believe how long it was. All those months, months ago. ago. And this is another thing that Eric is familiar with, and I am not. We nope. should we should start by saying that Duke sent us these. Yeah, this really one nice more of him. So Thanks, Duke. Than any of the others, because this is the one that I had as a kid on VHS. Um, I got some of the other ones later when I got a little bit older, or I went back with my friends when we were like teenagers and we we're like making fun of them, and we're like, oh, these are actually kind of good um, in their own Relatively. special way. Um, but no, I had this one. I was pleasantly surprised by the production value of the last one. Uh, and there was, I had to choose between this and the one that comes before it, which I think is called The Incredible Force of Joy. And That sounds like an unsellable choose-your-own-adventure. <laughs> and the backs of both of them, and I don't know if this ever actually happens, but the backs of both of them, I checked the DVD, it doesn't have it. Uh, the top of it was Bible Man coming in like 89 Batman through the skylight. Like it was oh, him with like man. his cape out and... And Does that I, happen in the movie? No. Oh. No, it was on both of the boxes. That's that was the top of both the boxes. Do they ever directly make fun of any superhero movies or TV shows or anything like that? I don't like, remember. Do they ever have like I don't think parody so. lines or anything like that or just Well, there's definitely s- somebody, there's definitely some somebody Star comes Wars out and quoting, is like um, Well, they have lightsabers. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely some Star Wars I remember that and, and stuff like that. Uh so yes. Uh, there's some pop culture references. Now, to be fair, this is not recommended for us. This says great for kids 6 to 10. Oh, no. I like that it's just a recommendation, that it doesn't say for kids 6 to Great for. Yeah. But it's not telling us not to watch this, so we're going to do it. Not that I would let the back of a DVD box deter me from doing anything, Eric. Like, no, well, this is the one I know is from uh, from being a kid, from being a child. Um, from being 6 to um, 10. I don't think I've ever actually gone back to this one since I was a kid, so some of it I'll remember and some of it I will not. Well, this is going to be a lot of fun, and you folks are going to get to watch it with us because I'm fairly sure I can get away with showing this footage like I did last time. So here we go. I'm not even going to say get ready to press play right now. I'm going to press play, and then you're going to get to see it happening. We've discovered last one, we had a discussion about whether or not it was was, uh, rewindable, and you're like, ah, it's only 20 minutes, TV episode, it doesn't count. This one's 42 minutes, so, uh... Like it rewind still on not, this. Okay, first of all, never say that without my permission. <laughs> and secondly, still not a feature. It's not like TV episodes that are 45 minutes. Oh, you have to do that. It's feature length. He just He's just decided that because it's longer than the last one, it counts as a movie. Yeah. Now, we'll see if it's really 42 minutes or of this material, because it looked like maybe it was... I wonder if it's not two episodes. We'll see. I guess we'll see. But it's definitely not all the special features at the end, like the last one, which we should have just kept talking through we that. We should have. We should have. But anyway. All right, folks. Here we go. It's time for Bible Man action. At the top of the DVD, it says Bible Man Genesis. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. It, My it, guess Eric is at some point, uh, Bible Man was rebooted, and all of the previous stuff was branded Genesis, but that says it came out in 2006, which, so the the reboot had not yet happened, so I don't. Okay, wait a second, Eric. This uh, this image in the background that's more subtle and, and less opaque, um, is that the skylight image? That is the skylight. Image. Yeah, it's on the disc. It's on it's on it's on the front, there. folks. It's there. All right, here we go. But doesn't it look like eighty nine? It does. But I can't see the rest of it. I don't know if he's actually coming through a skylight or where he's, he's just got his. I don't know. He's just, he's got, just got his arms out. Yeah. All right, here we go, folks. I am pressing play right now. Here it comes. Topping our community calendar, the Clean is Cool anti-drug campaign kicks off with a benefit concert at the Shotsville. It's something that has never been said by any cool person you know. (laughs) Meanwhile, back at everyone's church. So I believe Scarecrow and Tin Man is an actual... um, It's pretty good. Christian band that they got well, for this. Got I know there's another Christian band in this episode that shows up as like minions of By hell. Scarecrow and Rintintin. Hey, those look great. Yeah. See, his shirt is funny because it says truth, but it's making fun of Tide. I like how he was moving around like, which side of myself do I put this button on? I'm modern because I have earrings. Yeah, he's hip and cool. And all the kids can relate to him. 
<laughs> That's not what he didn't say. Ha ha ha. <laughs> he said, ooh hoo ha. -ha. <laughs> okay, look, the folks at home can't see the subtitles. Okay. Well, so, maybe, you know what? If I can record this with subtitles, I will. Because we're going to be talking over things. When did he get assimilated by the board? And why is he talking directly at me? I don't even. I'm not sending you signals through your brain, buddy. Do you remember this guy? He used to be like a different. That doesn't happen without Lacutus. Wasn't really good. Oh yeah. Bad guy. So <laughs> he's got to do it all over. Ludicrous. <laughs> so that's not some good. continuity. He plays the villain in like all I of the Bible mans, and he, he is the same character who just keeps reinventing himself, but dies horribly every time. Me. So I don't know what's happening with that. It's called lack of internal logic. <laughs> well. We're just merging way too many things together at once. He's got a remote Maniacal control life. that looks like a lightsaber. Maniacal ass. Eric, this is scary. I don't it know is. if I can watch it anymore. It's pretty scary. He's up there with Scarecrow and the Marvel Scarecrow. And, t and, and, and the Tin Men. Yeah. Scarecrow and Rin Tin Tin. Miles Peterson. A man who had it all. This is the same background we saw last time. Status. Well, it's, uh, it's the opening theme. It's their, their Still, opening theme. Yeah. Something I just thought this would be different every time. Miserable, alone, his spirit people, <laughs> Miles Peterson, gave up. You ever watch a scene and want so badly to know what the director said just before someone delivers something? Then, in his darkest hour, the words of a single book... Look just like sad, like your whole life is over. And at last, just imagine Peterson you're playing Dr. Jekyll. Imagine God. you're playing a more interesting Inspired character. By the word of God, and equipped with unyielding faith, Miles pledged to fight evil in the name of God. As Bible man... As God man! You know, it's interesting, <laughs> because uh, God. I don't believe uh, Bible man is in the Bible, so I'm not sure where that inspiration comes from. Executive producer! God. <laughs> producer. Jesus. Associate producers. God. Directed by... Holy Ghost. God. Co-starring Mark Damon Wayans. This is a different theme song than the last one, I think. I think so, too. Well, and if you remember, and I know you don't, he was really sad about his friend leaving. This is the friend that leaves. Okay. This is an earlier. I have a so. huge pet peeve with this kind of thing. I don't like how much of the of the movie, movie? they've already shown yeah, me. Yeah, that's fair. That's totally fair. I already know that there's going to be another lightsaber duel. Well, yeah, there's one at the end of everyone. Yeah, and that might make me want to turn it off because they always do that. Scatsville. That's why they're playing Swing right now. Because it's Scatsville. Spelled with an H. Even when I was a kid, because this came out when I was a kid, even when I was a kid, I don't think this is what school dances look like. Only the cool ones. Sure, sure. Anybody, anybody what else expecting life? Me. Everybody else, anybody else expecting Buffy vampires to break in? Yeah. Oh, that was almost a bad Tusi. Yeah. Look, you don't have to be obnoxious okay. about it. As chairman of the cleanest cool. They're trying, okay. Honor and privilege to introduce our. Well, yeah, that, that was where the applause goes, Eric. I was applauding. Helping young people make right choices. I'm only one and person. I can't make a plot. I can't make a, a whole room full of applause. It's my privilege to be his friend and principal. Now, I'm ready on. to not believe that this Let's kid is good at basketball. Cooper, my basketball coach man. is God. Yeah. Kurt okay. Cooper. You think he's gonna be a superhero? Yep, that kid's not good at basketball. Bob will be doing interviews on radio and television for us, and Kurt. Will be speaking at sporting events, including next Did I tell you that I listened to an interview from the guy that plays the villain? Yeah. About these? Yeah, someone sent me that and I forgot to watch it. He sounded fun. That's what I got out of it. <laughs> drugs will not be present in this video. Come on, let's hear it. There you go, Bible man. As I recall, on, they're going to run this Clean and School drug campaign. This this episode is not about drugs. Oh, really? I thought you were just being facetious. Nope. I don't think there's drugs in this. I might be wrong. 
Thanks, Principal Anthony. I mean, Rudy. I can think of a lot better movies than saying no to drugs, like don't step in front of a car or don't jump out of an airplane without a. Like, I'm not saying it's not a good move, but I'm not going to say there's no better move. The problem with saying no to drugs is that the drugs don't care. You need to say, <laughs> you need to say no to the people giving you the drugs. I, I say it every time I go to the dentist. They don't. It doesn't stop them. God can never give us more beer than we can drink beer. This is what the back end should look like. Isn't how you scare humans. Like yeah, but I lived with a lot of smoke in my basement for a long time, and I just don't want that much dry ice everywhere all the time. Although, it wouldn't be as bad as a smoke machine. That is dry ice. got this stupid sidekick who's even more scary. Here, it's on right now. I actually cannot tell you whether that's real fire. Um, I believe what he just gave a... No, okay. So what he just gave a plot synopsis for as being a really scary thing where there's a guy who's named his kids... That is the television show that Bible Man was the star of. Charles in Charge. Um, oh, is that the Charles in Charge guy? He is Charles. Uh, so that's just a fun little self-referential uh, joke. You know, one time I helped a bunch of people in my neighborhood, and the neighborhood uh, cut me a big giant check, and then I tried to take it to the bank, and they wouldn't cash it, because that's not the size checks are. That's unfortunate. They told me I got duped because I didn't get the actual real check. Sure you guys can pull off a quick switch in the phone booth? Get thee behind me, Coates. No, but you're pulling off red. Well done. <laughs> Arsenio Hall's got a... <laughs> is getting a run I know, for money you've here. gone to a more obvious quote, Bible Man. Come on, we all know that one. It's like saying, great power, great responsibility. We know. Why do you call... Sorry, I stepped on your He's line. talking about his panic button, and I'm just imagining an elderly Borg woman going, I've fallen! We've fallen, and we can't get up! This isn't some cheap video prop. This is a state-of-the-art citizen Yes, it is. And if you must know... See? I got it from the lowest authority. Lowest? Or is it a sinister state-of-the-art device? Oh, yeah, so I remember Lucy. Lucy. See how scary that looks? Yeah, they should work a little bit more on finding a way to separate the words from the background. Ah, what have you done to the... Oh, that's pretty funny, actually. It's ludicrous. You're cutting into my screen time. Yeah, because doofacus speed sounds stupid. Hilarious. Okay, so they're a Christian band. I don't remember what their name is, but they're a band. Don't take this the wrong way, but you state the obvious a lot. Yeah. They're like they're like Slipknot, but you know, not. Or like Kiss, maybe. That actually did say ha they were saying ha ha ha. Okay. Certainly that time. Sounds like fun. Okay. It's time for our gratuitous explanation. They should have an unevil rock band with members with names like Leviticus and Deuteronomy. Stop pretending like you know what any of these things mean. Oh, they're phobic reactions. I think most people have fears. Once again, I am surprised by how entertaining this actually is. Superheroes don't have fears. Okay, never mind. I'm totally doing a rewind on this. I'm, I'm going to compare it to Batman Begins and talk about <laughs> how it's all about fear and the people who have fear and the people who do not have fear. You, I didn't realize until I watched this that within the Human Condition commercial break, that laugh could have gone on longer. I, I, I is your house too small? <laughs> it's stately Bible man, man. I don't know yeah, what Miles something. What about Prower? Obviously. Okay, okay, so you were punching a few numbers, but it's my inspiration. 
Okay, so uh, they have a, Bal- a Borg alcove in the background of their bat caves. She says, when do gigapets sweat? Anyway, once I fire up these babies, no one's going to be able to touch them. Can they get sued for that? Can they get sued for saying gigapets? No, it's just a reference. Look how cool that is! Most impressive. You have a sense of humor. I. I like him more now. And you also watch things that I watch. Oh, brother. Okay, Eunice, all right. We, we were with Eric, where could he go where those pants would blend oh, in? Um, I have a live um, I didn't see his pants. Urban bloody camo? He could go to that's right, that's right. a place where there's a massacre? Was it, well, is, is it urban camo? Cause it's red that. and black urban camo. That's what urban camo is. I don't know if you know that. Red and black? Red and black. I thought it was blue and black. No, red and black is urban camo. All right, well, carry on. Ready the chamber, my friend. It's time for Bible. Oh, just when I thought he had see it. I'm covering you with the shadow of my hand. Yeah, that was, uh... Full armor secret. That 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 was a really waste spiritual experience I just had. The waste belt of truth. Breastplate of righteousness. I'm really getting into this, Eric. Breastplate of righteousness. Oh man, it'd be really unfortunate if he had to do this by himself. Of Shield of faith. Of like, what if he really needed to be somewhere and there was nobody in the cave? And the sword of the spear. I want this Power Ranger show so much. Track. Bible Force. <laughs> Well, the, uh, the series that they turned into Megaforce... <laughs> That's wonderful! Uh, the series that they turned into Megaforce was about angels. In the Sentai. Really? Yeah, but they weren't fighting, like, demons like you would expect. They fought the aliens. Hi, I'm Sunny Chavez, and today my guest is Bottleman. I almost made a joke about a radio station, but it turns out we're sort I want this... Of, it's a TV station, but... I want this TV show that explores things from a kid's point of view to just be like a normal TV show, but the camera's lower. <laughs> or they just leave it where you usually leave it, so there's too much space above the child. <laughs> I see what you're doing, Bible Man, but uh, why don't you go on like a real show where they're going to ask the hard-hitting questions, not these softball questions these kids ask. Why don't you go on a real show where they have an actual set and you're not filming on a green screen where they put... The, where, where they put the, the wall behind them with soundproofing? Like tw- 20 years ago. <laughs> Right, there's no children in the Bible. Well, I mean, it's not point of view children in the Bible. Ah, I got him! Right in the button! Oh my god, you're right! It was written years ago! It's about adults! I no longer believe this button about cleanliness at all! Also, what does this have to do with drugs? Also, do you understand that you will be an adult one day, sure. and uh, then you'll have fears, <laughs> finally. I guess just the way that was shot, it looked like they were on a green screen and they put the soundproof in the, back, in the background. It's actually there. I've been looking at too much green screen, I can no longer tell the difference. You don't know what to say, do you? Oh no, he got turned into a child Bible man that has fears. What's wrong with this? Transmission failure? You can't see what it, but the shadow of my hand is covering <laughs> Eric. So, Bible Man, I still don't think the Bible holds water. What accent is that? They must have Comcast. Hey, what's going on? I was going to say evil Comcast, but just normal Comcast really covers it. It reminds me of a guy named Noah. Yes, Noah was an adult, and yes... I'm glad you mentioned Hart. It reminds me of a guy named Mati. But Noah faced some pretty heavy peer pressure of his own. Imagine this. God asks you to build a huge boat. All of his friends and neighbors said, Big boat? That's dumb! And if you watch the movie, they were rock monsters. The difference is, Noah listened to God. They weren't rocks. They were rock monsters. 
And then there was a big fish and that's it ate a him. That's a real and, oh, nice oh, way of putting everyone on the planet died. They sank, he floated. We'll be right back after this. I didn't know we were going to get a science lesson in this. Wait, the kid's working the camera too? That's really irresponsible. And so unrealistic. Did you know that just like fear, it's the same thing with water. Adults sink and children float. Yeah, yeah. And witches. Or is it backwards? Is it that children sink and adults float because children have fear and... Do you know that, that when adults grow up, they become perfect beings? Yeah. We put a chick in Bible Man's arm. Well, that seems like a fatal flaw in your attack on Bible Man. It's like a hot shot. Yeah, it sounds like a personal problem. The higher they rise... No. No. And we're... Well, again, I wasn't expecting all the science. I, I didn't. I didn't know I was going to learn so much about physics today. You also weren't expecting the litany on fear. Yeah. Anybody that gets paid any kind of a paycheck for making that face is all right in my book. <laughs> That's always the button. I don't think that it's like a fear transmitter. If only these... Uh, oh, wait, no, he did. He replaced buttons earlier. That's right. There's there's a really there's some really interesting social commentary here about how the D.A.R.E. program didn't work. If only these stupid adults would stop trying to pressure these kids to not take drugs, they wouldn't get brainwashed through their stupid cleanliness buttons. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying that these children should be encouraged to take drugs. I'm saying that the D.A.R.E. program didn't work. That explains why most people I know that own D.A.R.E. shirts also do drugs. Or have done them. See, it's like ironic or something. <laughs> that should make a comeback, right? Ironically wearing D.A.R.E. t-shirts? That'd be great. I'm ordering one right now. <laughs> yeah, but you don't do drugs. Hey, coach. Oh, so I guess if I wear one, I have to start... Well, leave your comments <laughs> and let me know what kind of drugs you think I should take. I'm just worried about Kurt, man. You're opening up those floodgates. It's crack, right? Like ever, it, it's crack. Heat worked fine. No, the closest I'll ever come is pixie sticks. That's odd. Felt a little chill. Shaking your head that much is acting. Oh, Don't tell me you're getting sick too. That's all I need. Both leaders of the clean Does he have a different sidekick in every movie? No, no, no. He's for a couple, then he leaves, and then he gets another sidekick. Okay. The movie we watch is the, is the movie right after he left. If you Although I don't think there's a movie where he leaves, I think he just first. disappears in between movies. But I've not watched all the Bible Man, so I don't know. Tell them all to pray to their God. Um, I'm pretty sure the strategy that he just put forth has never been used. If you're going to fight an army, attack the leaders. Um, They're usually pretty well detect uh, uh, protected. Yeah, usually you fight the army and get to the leaders or to a surrender. Yeah, that's like playing chess and saying ignore all the puns. The pawns go first, which leaves the king open. Did you know he was a master strategist, that guy? How did no one notice? That's a lot of salt crystals. How did no one slip and break their pelvic bone and sue the school? Also, I also can go to the Home Depot and buy a bag of salt crystals. Yep, ordering that along with my dear t shirt. <laughs> This guy is playing the Holly, the the, the uh, Halloween theme very poorly. <laughs> Presenting the Battle of the Ages, brought to you by the undisputed King of Evil. In this corner, wearing the I dispute that. Tights are lightweight. He's but talking about Satan or let's something. Get ready to rumble! I cry foul. This would be much more fun if they were playing basketball. Didn't you used to be another that's true. Hey, that yes, sword is through that sword. How's that work? For a guy who just reinvented himself, I got some identity things going on here. Right? Well, that's because of the choreography. That's because those shows were networked. This is home video. Oh. Ah, fourth wall breaking. That makes no sense. My favorite. You'll soon see a different tune once I scare this scripture out of you. That's not a bad line for this material. 
Lord says, greater is he who is in you. He's an adult. It's not possible. I'm not buying it. I cannot suspend my disbelief. Humans, a uh, human adults don't feel fear. What's the ha, matter, got Bible it. man? Are you having Bible blood? Lead with that? Hey, that is a not a good line even Brandon for this material. <laughs> that he loses train of thought in front of his friends or his enemy. That's not how that goes. According to Lucifer. Well, here's a word from my sponsor. Second Timothy 1. Oh, Wait, he read the, the devil's Bible. They have Bibles in hell. <laughs> Well, then why doesn't Bible Man have one of those cross guns? <laughs> Get some holy water bombs. You can agree, Bible Man would lose to John Constantine, right? Like the Keanu Reeves John Constantine, like... He loses that fight. I, clearly. Does this look like a guy that could take knuckle dusters to the face? I don't think so. Well, this looks like a guy that would be confused as to what continuity he was in. He would just keep looking at a lack of camera and talking to it. And Constantine would be like, what are you doing? Got it. the game's just beginning. So yeah, this came out in the early 2000s. I get it. You've seen Austin Powers. Or at least the trailers. And all of them are... What's unfortunate is that you're relying on children knowing what Austin Powers is... You know, it's it, it's Eagle Gate Manor. If someone only knew Austin Powers through like the merchandising and like how big that came became for a little bit, but never actually saw the movie or the trailers, do you think that's the voice they would naturally give to him, or do you think they'd come up with their own voice? Who are we reading this to? Well, that's a good question, but I don't have time to think about that very complex. <laughs> Like you just you've opened really a, a can of worms that I cannot unpack. Because I read the, that that written in his voice when I see things like that. But well, sure, because you've heard it before. People who don't know his voice would not. Data entry. You trying to say this is my fault? All right. And by human, you mean children, because they're the only ones that make mistakes. Yeah, well, yeah. Once you become an adult, you get everything together. You know what's going on. You know what's going down. Is there any explanation as to why he doesn't need glasses when he's wearing his Bible Man helmet? I think he's. I, I, I think he has Whedon glasses. I think he only wears glasses when he's doing smart things. You may have made this point last time. Well, it's less okay. impressive when you do it. You're a computer. Look, Bible Man show. If I wanted to read the Bible, <laughs> I would pull out the Bible. I had a Bible Man Bible. It's amazing. Did it read it to you in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy computer voice? Nope, it just had those comics you hate where it's just still frames from the movie uh, with speech bubbles. We need those comics I hate. Who likes those comics? Find me the person that is cool with screenshots for $3.99. I thought you were a band. Well, they just did a cream cover. There's just no end. Poorly. Well, yeah. Well, not acapella, man. I see. That's kind of an oxymoron. You can't really be an acapella. What I don't band. know is if this it's is their get up for their group. regular band, or if they're just made up for this this movie. It's a good question. We could look it up. Because that that would be weird to do a to do like a corn like Slipknot kind of a band as a Christian band. There was a lot of that kind of thing. It, it is weird. It is strange. But we were milking everything that was popular that didn't remotely fit with that and kind of taking advantage of that material. You know who they should have gotten to, to do, like, like designs for Bible Man? I mean, there's, like, there's like biblical death metal and stuff. Yeah, there is. That doesn't it's make very sense. Strange. Um, but you know who should have done designs for the show? Todd McFarlane. I feel that way about most things that have any kind of demonic imagery. Yeah, but imagine like Bioman if you look like Reanimate or Reanimate uh, Redeemer. Yeah, you clear your head and you think about how battle strategy works. Eunice, man whose job I don't know. Accessing. Yeah, this like, is a really tense scene, Eric. I'm I, I'm wondering how long it's going to be before this mouth finally moves in and eats him. Look, we got foam rocks. We're going to use foam rocks. <laughs> 
I'm speaking. I'm speaking softly, but it's much more dramatic. I'm the leader, and so I'm terrified that the opposing army is going to attack me first. I actually think there's a good joke at the end of this band, but I might be wrong. The we'll board guy is going to come get you through the alcove. Oh no! I thought there was a, there was a joke. Something about. happened to you because you have fears. Yeah, yeah. It's weird because it it does seem to play like he doesn't normally have fears. Like he's not a human being. That was the line at the beginning from the bad guy who said, "Bible man has no fears." Well, but then, the, the, but then the, the dance group was like, that, "That's wrong. Superheroes do have fears." I thought it was just because of the thing that he did to his button. No, I think the idea was that like everyone has fears. We just gotta explain that. I would, I wouldn't have thought this was the material Jeff Johns got got that idea from, but he seems like a pretty wholesome guy. He's probably seen some Bible man in his day. Coats? You've convinced me. I will start praying all the time. Was there a point earlier where he said he didn't need that? Never mind. It's all right. No, that's pretty impressive. They had a whole character arc in 30 seconds. Oh my. What if he judges me? I just don't know if I can handle scared that. To say he's scared. <laughs> and so is Kurtz. No, oh, no, it's who, who, who. That little Dudorino seems like he's pretty. For a moment, he even had dry ice on his oh, desk. Idiot. Kurt's secret fear is that others will think he's a the loser. The, the, it's a word to say goof. They made a goof <laughs> with the word goof. His secret fear is that people think he's a loser. That means he doesn't. See, that makes me question his entire motivation of like about like life. Like he <laughs> makes me think he's not doing basketball because like he likes doing basketball. It's because he wants people to like him, and that's no way to live. <clears throat> Is the number twenty three on the back of his shirt? Maybe. Did I see that correctly? It's everywhere. Does I'm gonna go crazy. Worse at basketball. Like, I don't know. If you're afraid of missing, you'll miss more. Right, because you because you you've, he's lost his confidence. Sure. Fear and confidence go together. But now I'm speaking things that make sense. I'm gonna stop that. Okay. Hey, Kurt. Is he on fire? Yeah, it's me. How's oh, going? I superhero with amazing powers. How are you doing? You know, it's, it's great that the only thing you have to do in basketball is stand in line and throw a ball. There's no other aspects of that sport he could practice. Not without other people. You can dribble, you can run around, you can try and try and you, you can do have some to, layups. You, you can throw from different points. That's true. You let's stay in one place and unless he's just trying to improve his free throw. Makes me game. think this kid's not really good at basketball. It makes me think the person directing this is not very good at telling a kid how to be how to look like he's good at basketball. That's true. Twenty two. I see that number they everywhere, have Eric. They have heard of it. That is my favorite Jim Carrey horror film, the number twenty two. One of Schumacher's finest hours See? until the third act, where all of a sudden it obligatorily became the number twenty-three. I don't know what was going on there. He does. He sucks. He's terrible. It's embarrassing that I allied myself with this child. I pointed to another part of the court and said, "Shoot it from there." He was like, "No, I can only shoot from here." I walk to my mark and I throw it. That's what the director said. And even from the one place he's ever practiced from, he still can't make a basket. Yes. Oh, he's a... Fear is he a fear. high school gym teacher? Is that what he does? I don't know what that guy does. By day? Yeah. By night, he's himself, but with Bible Man. Kurt? Meanwhile, back at the commons area. Q? Yo quiero taco smell. Welcome, my brother. Ha! Huh. I don't get it. Kind of well, broken. now I've seen everything. Oh, by the way, Mariachi I, Borg here, did not that think I would ever right. see that. Wee, wee, wee. All the way home. But I can come out and play. Wow, well, you made fun of that kid real good. They're so playful and scary. Second well, yeah, that's what's fun three. about being a villain. Says that God is my yeah. And my Hi, I'm Bible God. Man, and I've never watched a film. I don't have 
or read a comic book. I mean, not all of them. I think Darth Vader is actually enjoying life. Some are. Also, every villain he's ever faced is not just playful, but the same brand of it. <laughs> okay, I kind of like that one. Why? I don't know. It's just the delivery was funny. I want to say when he does the shield thing, we get a good like. Oh, wrong. look, they paid off the, the, the shield thing. Hey, wait, see how much time we have. For this material? Okay. Oh, yeah, it's it's a it's a 40-minute movie. Ha! It's got him. I'm just going to go around yelling bad at people. That was too close. Are you okay? I'm going to go make a world without confidence, without Bible man. My worst fear just came true. Was I'm it scared was it of me yellow an gloves? Shaft again? Ah! Why an elevator shaft? See, I don't think his fear is that his friend's gonna die. I think his fear is elevator shafts. Somebody rolled a d20 for that one. What if the doors opened and there was no elevator? See, because it had turned into wood. wood. Oh, he's American. I just wish I could get into that head of his. <laughs> I can. He tells me everything. What? Miles won't confide. I have a direct link up with friend. God. Oh, oh. to a pile of computer hardware and software. So I suppose he thinks Yeah, that's so different from a diary or a I am not programmed to journal. understand. Just record. <clears throat> Clever, Which is me. Eunice, I normally wouldn't ask you to do this, but just Way to go, Tanahasi. Just this once, accessing Bible Man's journal. And any other times he's emotionally unstable because his villain is manipulating him through emotional impulses. About his deepest fear. I can't believe this is the guy who wrote thought-provoking but boring Black Panther comics. Insufficient data. Please explain. I need to understand his nightmare better. Insufficient data. Please explain. Help me help you, Coates. Help me help you. Yeah, you know all the children that, that saw Jerry Maguire? Scanning. They probably heard their parents talk about Jerry Maguire. It's probably true. Come on, man. Pull me up, man. But again, not wait, like a... Wait, they simulated this digitally? Yeah. I can't. Wow. Oh, his fear is literally That's letting amazing. me down. <laughs> Look how angry he is! a little on the nose. <clears throat> oh, maybe if I wasn't wearing this rubber glove. Big nightmare. <laughs> maybe you shouldn't have assembled his clothes from his kitchen. So what what were the consequences to your not doing that? I wouldn't be able to save. It finally happened. Only this time you had to save me. Well, I'm I mean, slightly mad. You back there. God saved both of us. Isaiah 41:10 does not say do not fear for coats is with you. It doesn't even say do not fear. I for I feel like your you. like wrist shield says, thing might have saved you. I am with you. Meaning God. You said it yourself. Yeah, it's real easy to blame or praise God for everything. Eunice, access Bible man. You know, I wouldn't have a brain or hands without God, so boom, I've got my shield thing. God did that. They tried to turn down God's assignment because of a fear of public speaking. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. I know, hold on. Now, what why are we in, why are we suddenly doing like bar trivia in the Bible Man Batcave? His mouth was bigger. Yeah, than that's his an mouth. obvious one. Shut up, Peter. Exactly. Because apart from God, we, we can, can do, do nothing. nothing. <laughs> uh, it's funny because I was there. <laughs> I 
just forgot the truth and what about all the other characters in the Bible that seem to succeed fine in life? Yeah, that are the bad guys. No, 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 no. Think about it. Buttons. What about those ones? Clean is cool buttons. Observation correct. Or, you know, your bad guy. Wow, these guys have amazing deductive reasoning skills. You know my favorite You know what my favorite Jonah Hex comic is? More he gets eaten by a whale. You know, oh, I'm sorry, it was a big fish. That's not the common denominator between them. It's that they're the heads of this clean is cool campaign. Like, I wouldn't immediately jump to the buttons, that's all I'm saying. Well, that's, that, that's good, that's good video quality. Water and salt. The ingredients of you sure this isn't a VHS? This whole thing was designed to blow I think it was supposed to be because of the perspective of where the camera was. So it was like shooting right. through well, something. Was that intentional? Yes. Oh. Perfect love that was a bad choice. First John 418. Now if we can just get Kurt to see yes, I think. I haven't seen this before. Ha! <laughs> it's one of my favorites. <laughs> it's funny because I was there. <laughs> Who turned off the lights? Meanwhile, back at the junior high school, really Stedman Junior High. If I were Bible Man, I would just walk around that school all day long, going, "No running, kids! No, no running, kids!" And now I'm going to tell you what he said. Ah, this time I won't say a Bible verse. Got to subvert expectations. I don't want to say you're one track, but I feel like there are other things in the world that can Never mind. demonstrate... I just can't help myself. There are other things in history, and maybe more recently, that you could connect these lessons to. And be like, see how this connects to this thing that I'm telling you? They only know how to use those references facetiously. That's true. That's true. Like, have you ever seen a movie called Batman Begins? I feel like it perfectly dis discusses the ideas that we're discussing right now. That hasn't come out yet. That's true. That's true. Have you ever seen Batman the Animated Series with the episodes with Scarecrow? And Tin Men. With less than a minute in the game, it's devils over halos by a commanding margin. Let's go, I can't but wait. Has suffered a career in the injury to his curse. That didn't seem like a commercial break. That seemed like they used that as a scene transition. I'm far from finished. In fact, now it's my turn. It's the bat symbol spin in 66. So we shot all this on one day, yeah? The demons believe there is Same one location. And shudder. Dude, you're ruining the mystique! We didn't even... Oh man, did you see that? His laser was shining next to Bowman. That's, that's fine. That's what your side this isn't about capital H, H him. But, but we didn't even one, have the, the scene Lord where they, light like, light run into something. each other or, like, she calls him. Like, it's just lightsaber fight. Hit him while he's quotifying! Hit him now! In the fa hit him now! Nope, you lost your chance. Hit him now! Go! He's open! Let's go! Uh, never mind, I want to see you play basketball. You would suck at that. Sometimes you don't an angle Oh, uh, those don't work on us anymore. But they will work on you. How many nearby TVs did you just turn off? <laughs> Your fears will always come back to But it never worked on you in the first place. What do you mean right us? Back at you, fear dude. With a wait, why does that happen? And even if that made sense, how about you wait and not tell him about it until he shoots it? See, now you can't hit him. That doesn't apply to the situation at all. Oh, he's dead now. No, see, they murdered him out of love. <laughs> okay, okay, well that makes it okay. You know, I know some people on death row that uh, would say the same thing. Meanwhile, back at my grandparents' I mean, house, I mean mortuary. Oh, and get this. The kids are asking Kurt if God can help them out with their fears. <laughs> That's great. Congratulations. He also he has a lot of dry, dry ice in his... Uh... He didn't before, though. That's that wasn't there before. Was it not? Was I don't, it not dry ice? I don't believe I don't believe so. If you answer one question. What I wish he would label everything Bible whatever. Giving credit where it's due. His, his mouth is bigger than his head. <laughs> oh no, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not fair. My head is way bigger. I can go. Hit, here's a picture. You gave me a picture. That's you gotta pat me up on this. Miles. Dude. Miles. <laughs> 
That's the part he's gonna argue. Hi, kids. The Bible promises Create a that world God without sidekicks. Dude, look sidekicks. out! That mouth is gonna eat you! Which means that we can have confidence that no matter what obstacles we face in our life, Jesus will always <laughs> be <with us. laughs> Just in case you didn't get the message of our movie, then you let me tell you what the message of our movie was. Go, go, gradient background. But not this one, because this one costs money. And we're not going to put this on eBay. Nor are we going to merchandise this. No, there were toys. And a, and a board game. Okay. And a video game. I'm ordering those right now, too. This is really expensive commentary. <laughs> I'm up to $49. Grouchy Upton and Shifty Lemons were both grips. I wouldn't give my stuff to Shifty Lemons. Or Grouchy Upton. They shot this in Kansas City. Hey! Now I gotta look into this and find out where those locations were. Yeah. Rockhurst High School. We'll make a pilgrimage. Yeah, we and should we'll, go to Rockhurst High School. And we'll shoot a... This is where they made Bible Man video. Yeah. Now, this was 2006. So I, I thought this video, this DVD came out in 2006, but they made it a lot earlier than that. that so that means they actually potentially could have seen Batman Begins the, the, that when they made That can't be. This. There's no way. I, I would have been too young. Like, I had this on VHS. You had this on VHS? I had this movie on VHS. Okay, so that just means that they put a... Tw 2006 logo on the DVD. At the end, yeah. yeah. What are the bonus features? Well, let's find out. Bloopers. Scriptures. World Vision? Or is that World Vision? World Vision. Oh. And a video game. I don't know what that is. I don't know what I don't know what I don't know what a video game is. I don't know, that one's weird. That's weird. It's like they just threw two words together, like those don't go together. Yeah, but on this I would have expected scriptures, 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 and bloopers. No, I would have expected some kind of dumb like kids kids game. Oh, that's true. I mean they have a video game, I don't know what that is, but now Did you click the video game? Yeah, of course look I do. Look how cool he looks! Wow, look at that. That guy not so much. In this new and Bible event, Girl. She comes later. Oh, oh it's a course. trailer for a video for game. For a video game. They made a video game? A fight for faith. Oh, oh it sucks. Life, so is he. Wait, he is what? So, oh. A fight for faith? What is that guy? What is... Uh, oh, Zombie wow, Steve amazing. Urkel? Oh, this is rough. Oh, these are, these are cutting edge. Wow. Oh, we've got to play this. Yeah, it looks great. You know, it might be easy to get lost. Both you and I are people that can easily get lost in video games. If there's no backgrounds, that's going to be really easy to get lost in. <laughs> yeah, it looks like every Spider-Man comic I read in the mid-90s. It looks like a comic book. Yeah. The adventure continues. Wow, look at his hair. I'm so excited for that, that guy. Okay, well, I'm uh, officially disturbed and won't be sleeping this evening. Everybody, thanks very much for listening and watching. Hope you had a good time with more Bible Man. And if you like this one, let us know in the comments and we will consider doing another one for we have four more left and in our arsenal. And there are more, more, but we have currently six in total and we've done two. Yes. Well, Eric, did you have a good time? I did have a good time. This you one was watch not this? as good as, I, as the other one. This one doesn't hold up as well. I, they get I, en into a group? I enjoyed the rock band. Yeah, they were fun. They were fun. Well, everybody, thanks as always for, for watching and listening. We'll see you again next time. I am Captain Logan. And I'm Eric. See you later, folks. A world without Bible Man.